All right, I'll make an exception, but usually I want students. Unless you're a student. I am a student. All right, okay. Thank you. <laughs> In fact, that's why I want to talk to you. Um, my name is Carolyn. I went back to school later on in life. I am getting um, my BA. I carry a 4.0 grade point average. I am on the presidential list and the dean's list every semester. Here's my issue. I chose something in my life I didn't like. I, I wanted to be a teacher my whole life. Everybody kept telling me, you're great with kids, go be a teacher. So I did. I went to college. I was excited about being a teacher. It's been my dream for 40 years. My second semester, I'm carrying an A average, and my teacher writes me an email and asks me what my pronouns were. Um, I'm first year Gen X. I don't have a fucking pronoun. Let me tell you what I do have. I have a noun, and it's my name. And that's the only English language I can actually f say I have. But I was cool, and I was really kind. Excuse my language, but y'all are adults here, right? Okay, good. So, excuse my language, but I'm, I, you know what? I am pissed off, because when I said to her, I'm sorry, I don't claim a pronoun, I got failed. I got failed in three of her courses. And my grade point average went from a 4.0 down to a 2.5 because I didn't carry a pronoun. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I have an incredible grade point average. I'm a smart woman. I've been working in the workforce for 40 years and my generation, and if y'all don't understand, invented the internet for Christ's sakes. And we're not stupid, all right? And yet you're gonna fail me for my pronouns. So my questions are this. As a student, if I don't want to claim this woke ideology, how do I advance and get my degree in something I love and really want to do and would be really good at without being failed unless I fall into their agenda? Tell me how to fix this. Yeah, so uh, first, th thank you for your uh, blunt nature. Um, it's uh, very refreshing. So. Um, Yes, there, there is no easy answer. Number one, there's strength in numbers. Confronting professors or administrators with you plus 10 or 30 other people is the first way to do it. You should not go to appeal by yourself. You should go with the turning point chapter and ask for a remedy with many people alongside of you. Number, number two, though, and I'm just going to be as blunt as possible as you were, I really don't think grades matter that much in the world. Um, I know they matter to you for advancement. My advice to people is that your character and your integrity and standing for what is right matters a lot more than pandering to some sort of an agenda. And I know you agree with that. Well, the uh, problem is, is that you lose your funding. Okay, the minute your grades hit below C, you yeah, lose so all your grants I, I hear, I hear and you. all your funding that's free. So all these college kids that are getting this college that are getting these Pell Grants I, I, get I them you. pulled. No, I, I'm, I'm not diminishing that. So they're holding your career hostage yes. over that money. I, I still, that's why I think college is a scam. Um, I still think you should not comply to okay. their tyrannical, woke ortho orthodoxy. You should fight for it. You should fight on it. Um, but to be perfectly honest, I think that it destroys your soul every time that you comply with their nonsense. But God bless me. you, and thank you for being a lifelong thank learner. You. Thank you. Hey, everybody, remember to subscribe right down here to get all of our latest breaking news and campus debates and share these videos with a voter who is on the fence. Uh, check out the Charlie Kirk Show podcast and like this video and then also put a comment down there that might trigger the libs. These videos are going super viral, millions and millions and millions and millions of views. So don't forget to check it out on my other social media platforms and hit a comment right now and subscribe. This channel might save the country thanks to you guys. Thanks so much.